So this is the kind of video that I felt really comfortable doing in a classroom, in a lab, but when it came to doing it in my own home, it was a bit weird and a bit gross. We've got a heart dissection and then I've done a lung dissection as well, which I'll release next week. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it and learn something about the heart as well. There are more videos about the heart and about the circulatory system that I've done as well. Um, check them out, I'll put the links in the description below. Um, but yeah, let's get dissecting. Okay, so today we've got something really exciting. We've got a pig's heart um, picked up from the local butcher. And what they'll often do is they'll often slash it to drain the blood from it. And so I've just followed through on one of those cuts and I opened up one of the chambers. Okay, so you can see there are different textures on the outside of the heart. So this is more rough texture. That's an atria. Whereas the smoother texture down here, um, that is one of the ventricles. We can see at the top as well, looks a bit whiter, a little, a little more, more pale pink. That is one of our blood vessels. And they're really massive um, to go take blood in and out of the heart. They're the biggest blood vessels in your body. They would have been the biggest blood vessels in this pig's body as well. So if we open up um, one of the chambers here, you'll see it's got these sorts of funny little um, divots in it. That's to help the blood flow really, really smoothly. Um, it's quite a thin wall, but it's just muscle, pure muscle, and that's going to help the heart contract and push blood all the way around the body. You can also see that there are some little strings that seem to be holding parts of the heart together, like this one here. And these, we might say someone's pulling on your heartstrings, that's actually not what they do. They are to help the valves in your heart. Valves make sure that blood goes the right direction. So. Um, at the top here, um, we said this was some atrial tissue. This is one of the atria. Uh, this is the right atrium. And blood can go in here. You can see where my finger's going. And it goes into this chamber. And then if we follow it through, it will come out here as well. Um, and that goes from the, the veins going into the heart, into the atria, and then through into the ventricle down here. Now, how does it get out of the ventricle? It needs to leave by a different way. So it doesn't go back into the atria, but it goes this way. Uh, and it goes round, and then it goes out of this blood vessel here. And so this blood vessel is going out of the right atrium, and so it's going to the lungs. It's going to the lungs, so it's a pulmonary artery. Okay, so I've just chopped open all of the left side of the heart. And again, we can see the difference in texture on the inside this time, not on the outside. So this pale bit at the top, that's the atria, and then this bit at the bottom, this is the ventricle. And again, we can see these heart strings, and this time we can actually see what they're attached to. So here, this string here is attached to um, this little bit of tissue here, and that is our actual valve. And so you can see that blood can flow quite easily down, like that way from the atria to the ventricle. But if blood tried to flow back, then it gets caught. It gets caught up in this tissue here, and it can't flow backwards. So if we look at how thick this wall is on the left side, and we compare that to how relatively thin this wall is on the right side, we get an idea about their jobs. The left side is much more muscular. It's got a lot further to pump the blood. It pumps blood all the way around the body. Um, the right side does pump blood still, but it doesn't pump it quite as far. It just pumps it to where it needs to go in the lungs. So the lungs is a smaller circuit, it needs a lower pressure, it doesn't need so much muscle to push it. I've got another video on this, check it out if you want to learn more about the circulation. A couple of things that I didn't mention at the start is that you'll see on the outside there are these blood vessels running along the surface of the heart. So these blood vessels take blood to the heart muscle. They're really, really important, they're called coronary vessels. If we didn't have coronary vessels, then the heart muscle itself wouldn't have the oxygen it needs in order to pump, in order to push blood around. And so the heart provides oxygen for itself as well as for the rest of the body. I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope that it was useful, interesting, um, not too gross. Why don't you check out some more videos on my channel that will be popping up um, here. And if you liked it, then like, comment and subscribe. And let's see if we can get to 100 subscribers.